All right, here we are at uh, Corolla. I think it's Corolla Lighthouse Park. We are airing down. Down to 25 in the back, 20 in the front. Lost in our hub. So we can go on to the beach on Corova. I'm gonna try to go up the beach and hang out for a little bit. So we'll lock everything here because they don't let you, once you get out by the beach, they don't let you stop or anything. So gotta do everything here. We'll air down. Go out on the beach and then we'll come back. That's the air up station. All right, we're gonna try it again. <laughs> going on the beach. Going on the beach. It's not as high as no, the other day. No, it's definitely not as high. There's a sheriff. As well. There's a sheriff making sure nobody does nothing stupid. Oh, this doesn't look. This isn't near as bad. Oh. Oh, fantastic. So there we are. We are on we the are beach. We are on the beach and we are heading towards Carova, North Carolina. And this is the only way that you can get to this town is by the beach road. There is no other way. And there's only one way there and one way back. So we go this way to go to the town and we come back to head back home. Now, a couple days ago, it was stormy, it was windy, um, and we, we just didn't want to take the chance of... The waves were actually... Up, up to the dunes. Up, almost to the dunes, and I really didn't... It didn't, was too sketch. Yeah. Anybody that knows me knows how I am with my vehicles. I don't want to get salt water on them. Which, I mean, if you're on the beach, it's inevitable. It, it's going to happen somewhat. He's got a trailer. Yes, he does. Well, the other day we saw, I mean, there's work trucks. Yeah. I mean, big, huge lumber trucks uh, that have to go here to build houses and do all that kind of stuff. Yeah, people do come up here with two-wheel drive, and if you air down, you can do it on a good day, especially a low tide. If you play oh, the he's tide going right, he's rolling. <laughs> he's rolling. The cops are right down there, yeah, probably they taking are. radar. Yeah. But, with that said, in his defense, you do have to keep going. Yeah, this isn't bad at all, though. Really this is very well packed. Now, we're about, according to what we see, we're about an hour from high tide, so tide will still be coming in but you can see there's plenty of beach here and I, like I said I don't know what happens during a storm I mean because they, I would think that they get shut off I yeah because you know here in North Carolina they get plenty of hurricanes yeah or storm you know they get nor'easters the storm similar to in the nor'easters so you can tell that this was all Obviously, if you see it, you look at it, it, this was this was all trees. Those are stumps right in the middle of the beach. Now, how far down is this? I, I don't remember. It's been so long. Six or eight miles, I believe. I don't remember for sure. But you can see all the stumps in the water and everything. So this is the first house we come to on Corova Beach. It's the first house, it's a newer house. We haven't been here in probably 25 years, so I'm pretty sure we're in for a rude awakening. It says parking permitted beyond this point. So here, if you notice, the beach is a little wider so and it's a little more packed and down. It's actually. more packed down. We could we could take it out of two-wheel drive very easily, or a four-wheel drive very easily here, especially being aired down. But it's looking like the water's coming up a little higher yeah, down here. Yeah, up, up by this house, the one gentleman told me that it gets a little narrow. You got to play a little game with the time waves. It, yeah. They do. Uh, 
um, tours here on the beach. Uh, they know where to go for the wild horses and all that stuff, but you can pay to get on a truck and take a tour down here. And that's what all those people are doing right there. They look like they might be cold. <laughs> they look like they might be a little chilly. Let's get down some more. Guess what? We got heat. Actually, it's probably home with a group of friends. Yeah. You know? Coming up to a lot more houses again. He's, he's coming pretty quick. Yeah, I'm going That's almost... That's not 15. I'm, a, I'm going almost 30, and he's pulling away from me, so... And the speed limit's 15. He's in a, hey, He's racing quick, to see the horses. It's a, no, it's a quick tour. It's a quick tour. <laughs> quick, go, go, go. <laughs> Look at the ocean, look at the houses, look at the birds. That's it, you're done. This house looks like it's not going to be here too much longer. This is the one house that the gentleman was saying, you gotta, got to go down by the water to get around it. This is amazing how many houses are up here now. It baffles me. this far out. Do you go up here? I think you go up here. Do you go up there? Maybe. I think you we'll go up. We'll see where this guy goes. I'm, I'm thinking you go. We're going to let this guy go. Amazing. Look at that. Oh no, he's going straight. No, I don't know where he's going. We're waiting to see. So we turned around and we're going this road. It's recommended to go this way. Not, oh God, not in front of that house. I think that truck's been there a while. Uh oh. Just somebody in the beach. 
bridge, that's all. So th there's little side roads that just go up and then there's a high road and there's all... Houses. Yeah, there's all... How do they get Amazon factors? I guess Amazon and UPI, I guess everybody's got full drive here. Yes, and FedEx. You, ha you would have to. You would have to. You know, it's a shame because like we're like an hour from home here, literally, and it takes us two and a half hours because we have to go around. It's fine. Oh, it's a beautiful it's day. Fine. Of course it's fine. So now we're on one of the back roads. And there should be, if I remember right, there was a there was a gate. Pretty baby. We're going back 
on the beach. No more high road. Back on. Houses on the beach need their septic pumped. Coming through. 